June is strawberry month around here. I don't know about other parts of the country, but it's big time strawberry month around here. So today I decided to build a strawberry farm, like a, a farm market type of thing. It is a residential lot. Um, but you can sell stuff from the, uh, yard sale table that you will see in a minute here, um, that goes at the front of the lot. So, I have a, a cold. I can't breathe well. My nose is alternating between running and being super stuffy. It's a problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I, I really wanted and needed to get this video done, so um, here it is. I uh, I forgot what I was saying. The the joys of having a cold, right? Um, oh, I started with a very modern sort of almost generic like uh, farmhouse style house for your Sims to actually live in. I don't know why. I think they're cute, even though most people think they're very overdone and ge generic. I would never want to live in one. Like, I don't love the farmhouse, the modern farmhouse style for me. But I do think they're cute houses to look at, if that makes sense. Um, and so... That being that it's, you know, a farm, a strawberry farm, and a farm market, that's what I decided to go with was a modern farmhouse. It turns out pretty good, but initially I stopped working on the house and moved on to the, like, shed factory area um, and the front part where you actually sell your goods and have a little eating area because I was going to turn this into a community lot and just have the farmhouse like be there as if a sim lives there but not really and then it'd be a community lot where a lot of sims would come. Right now as it is you have to start a yard sale because it's a residential lot you have to start a yard sale in order for a bunch of sims to show up and then they might maybe go to the food stalls if you hire sims to work at them. They might maybe go to the food stalls and buy stuff. I don't think you get the money for that though. I did not play test that part so I'm not sure but I believe you have to hire another sim. I also don't think you can work at the food stall yourself. I think you have to hire another sim to do it. I'm pretty sure you don't get the money for it. So obviously, excuse me, I just got done eating a big lunch. I'm so sorry. Um, so you have to make most of your money from selling your strawberry things. And... um. <laughs> This is where I'm, my nose is going to be bothersome. Uh, I think this is where I finish the house. I move it into the place where I want it to be. And then I move on to the rest of the farm. I come back and decide it should be a residential lot after all and decorate the house then. But for now, I move on to the actual shed or factory area where all the strawberry pies and jellies and donuts and cupcakes and all that are made. Um, whatever else, ice cream, whatever you can make using strawberries, except the fizzy juice thing, because there's only one recipe that uses strawberries, and it's, like, flirty fizzy juice. I wish they had the fizzy juices, like, the mood-boosting ones, but also just regular fizzy juices that are just, like, flavored fizzy juices. I think that would have been nice to have, um... But they just have the mood boosting ones. And so, I don't know. I didn't want to just sell flirty boosting drinks at the, at the strawberry farm market. So I didn't include it. But if that's something you're into, you can include it if you want. Uh, but I did include the cupcake factory and then eventually a small kitchen. I do initially put the fizzy juice maker in here, but then take it back out in a few minutes. Um, but I do include the cupcake maker and a small kitchen 
for making ice creams and my dog just walked into the room and startled me. I didn't even know she was in the house. She was supposed to be outside. <laughs> um, so, uh, where was I? Oh, she, uh, no, not she. The farm store has everything else. You can make all the other strawberry flavored everything. I don't know what all uses strawberries in the game. That I didn't play test any of that. I know there's strawberry ice cream and strawberry cupcakes. That's about all I know. Oh, I think there might be a strawberry cake as well. But I don't remember. But anyways, yeah. So it's supposed to be strawberry themed. It's strawberry month. Also a little eco-friendliness in there to go along with it. Um, and this is where I decide, let's make this a, not just a place to sell my strawberry stuff at, but also a little, like, eating destination thing. Maybe this fall I'll make another one apple themed or late in the summer apple themed and do like the full on farm market destination with kids playground stuff and the whole nine yards. I think that'd be a cute idea too. We have two similar of these things, these private farm markets. They're people's homes, but they also have like a shed or what barn or whatever little store area that they have on their farm that they sell all their goods made from whatever their chosen fruit is. One is apple and then the other one is just a variety of flowers and fruits and vegetables. The apple one is just a store, but you can you can buy baked goods and stuff and they have a little like cafe eating area right there you can eat it at. The other one is the general one, but it's like a farm destination. They've got all sorts of stuff. They've got little uh playhouse village for kids they've got a uh, petting zoo actually now that i think about it both of them have a petting zoo so yeah these are like destination places where you can go and just spend an entire afternoon petting the animals playing on the equipment at the one farm uh or eating at the cafe at the other farm and that's kind of what I was going for with this, but I think I could do even better with the next one. So I want to do an apple one next, later in the summer or early fall, and do like full-on destination. That one will probably be a community lot because that would most likely be easier on a community lot. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think the concept, I don't know how it, it will play in the game. I I started to play test it, but then I ran out of time and I needed to get the video done. So I don't know how exactly it's going to play out in game. Uh, there will probably be a lot of pretending involved <laughs> where you just invite people over and hire someone to do the food stalls or whatever. Um, but yeah, you can sell strawberries, you can sell the baked goods, all of that from those tables that I put under the glass canopy in the front. I believe this is where I get rid of the fizzy juice one. Maybe not. I'm thinking here, I think. I'm thinking, <clears throat> is there even a fizzy juice that you can? I even tried looking through Debug to find all the fizzy juices, and that's when I realized those tables right there that I just moved, those are the ones you can start yard sales at uh, and sell all your strawberry stuff. But anyways, I looked through Debug to see what fizzy juices that you could make at one point, and I think that's where I realized that they're not just flavored juices with the various different fruits and stuff that you can grow, which was kind of disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. I wish they had regular sodas or fizzy juices um, that weren't mood boosters that you could, uh, you could make just with the fruits. But anyways, uh, I did put some chickens and some bees on two sides of the garden to help the bees help pollinate or something and the plants grow faster. And I believe the chickens help cut the bugs down 
or the weeds or both but anyways that you just saw there where I got rid of the fizzy juice and made a bigger kitchen and then put uh the cupcake factory like centerpiece in the shed factory whatever you want to call it area I tried to stick with sort of a red and pink theme in the house as much as possible very spring summery very strawberry very strawberry I tried to stay with the whole farm and strawberry theme throughout um I did scale back my Decorating and clutter for this one. I don't know the simplistic nature of the house itself Made me feel like I needed to make the decor Simplistic as well and we all know that that's what I love anyways, so it just fit for me And so that's the way I did decorate this one um it's not super overdone. It's not super landscaped. In fact, it's barely landscaped at all because the farm market and the fields, the actual strawberry fields, are supposed to be like your main uh, attraction, like your main visual, like, you know what I'm trying to say, right? It's supposed to be what you focus on, your main focus. Um... I did go a little more out with the kids' bedroom because there were a lot of different things that I liked and it was hard staying in the specific style because I like so many of that, so much of that stuff in the kids' room. So I did go a little bit heavier in the kids' room just because it's cute. I can't help it. It's adorable. Uh, it's adorable pink stuff and I'm not usually like overly into the pink sometimes i am sometimes i'm not it, it also depends on the type of pink i do not like fuchsias i do not like purpley pinks or bluey pinks which is funny because i put that purpley pink lamp that kind of changed the uh the color of that kid's room into a purpley pink i do not like that it it's cute in that kids room setup, but typically I don't like purpley pinks. I like a very, very, uh, more light red than, than pink per se. I like a pale red color, if that makes sense, <laughs> which probably doesn't, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, otherwise I kept it basic. I stayed within the style and the theme and, you know... Uh, not much else to say about the decorating. It's all pretty basic farmhouse. Uh, didn't do much to the bathroom. There is a laundry room, a small laundry room. I'm not sure if it made it into the video for some reason. I don't know if I forgot to record that part. I think I, if it doesn't show up here right after the bathroom, then it's because I forgot to record that part. Uh, it took me about three hours or so to do this build and it's a fairly simplistic build so um yeah three hours seems like a lot for a very simplistic build like this but i i really wanted to get it right i really wanted it to be cute and pink and strawberry and and all things late summer early spring and so i really wanted to take my time at it and do it right I, I do believe we missed the laundry room build, but it is there. It's that little tiny square two by two space next to the bathroom. It's just got some shelves and a washer and dryer in it, and that's it. And I do believe they are usable. There is enough space in there for them to be usable. Um, I tried to include a couple of other things that your Sims could make money off of. Um knitting i believe i guess i could have added needle point to did i add needle point i don't remember if i just put a couple of knitting things in here or if i also put needle point in here but you can always add that in if you want um just lots of different ways for your sims to make money 
because I think a farm like this would eventually end up costing more than it would make you if you don't have multiple streams of revenue coming in. And maybe one of your sims should just have a regular out of the house job just in case. Um, but I mean, I guess you could just sell the strawberries from your inventory as well. You can make quite a bit of money doing that too. So that's always an option as well if your sim starts running out of money because this is a massive farm. It's got a lot of chickens and um, oh you could also sell the honey from the bees that you're using as pollinators for the strawberries as well. I just realized that. So you know there are multiple ways to make money on this farm but the main uh, focus is the strawberries. It is called Strawberry Wishes Farm, and it will be up on my gallery hopefully by the time this video goes live. Uh, I have to run to the school for my daughter this afternoon, so this video will go live while I'm gone. Uh, today so if like always when that situation comes up I forget to post on Twitter and Facebook and stuff uh, and forget to upload the lot to the gallery it should be there later this afternoon after the video goes up but uh, yeah I think we're nearing the end here this should be just about it should be just about finished I just put uh, a light up in that dormer area to light up by the front door and then that's it so yeah we're at the end and i'll put in some screenshots and i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.